What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to reveal to you the darkest of the dark secrets of many famous chefs. I'm going to show you how to make black liquid gold. And in the making of this black olive oil, we are not going to use any of the natural or unnatural colorants. Just like in the making of the regular olive oil, we are going to use just one ingredient – olives. Well, and olive oil, of course. This recipe is super simple, super easy to make, anyone can do it, and you don't need any fancy equipment for that. You do need a little bit of time, but the results are astronomically, astronomically, delicious. astronomically delicious and oily. And it's totally worth your time. So without further ado, let's start. All right, so the first thing I gotta do here is peel the olives. Quick note that the olives must be black, obviously. And if only I've managed to find the black olives that have been already pitted, that would have been quite beneficial. Would have avoided all this mess here. By the way, if you know a better way to pit the olives, do let me know. Next optional step is to chop the pitted black olives. Chop, 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 as finely as possible. I do have a food processor and I could have probably used it, but I've promised you, no unnecessary equipment for this recipe. And I keep my promises. Small cuts give us a larger surface area and faster dehydration process, which is our next step. So let me put this tray with olives in an oven and dehydrate it at 180 degrees Fahrenheit for about, I'd say, four to five hours. Basically until they're completely dry and dehydrated. Next, I'm going to set up my blender, pour in chilled, cold-pressed, extra virgin olive oil, add in the dehydrated black olives and blend it. Blend it a shell for about 10 minutes, basically as long as your oil can take it, because the blending process increases the oil temperature. And that's the reason you need to start with chilled olive oil to allow it longer time for the blending part. Also for this recipe, it's quite useful to have a really powerful blender on hand. All right, my oil already starts to get hot, so let's stop the blending. We don't want to heat the oil here. What we do want is to transfer the oil to a vacuum bag, seal, and let it sit and marinate in all those tiny black olive particles. I'd say leave it at the counter at room temperature overnight. Overnight should be long enough for the olive oil and black olives to really engage and merge with each other. And here comes the day two of our exquisite black olive oil preparation. Today is rather straightforward. I'm just going to set up my sieve and double cheesecloth and strain my olive oil slowly and patiently without putting any extra pressure on it. You can actually go for four layers of cheesecloth here, to be honest. So the resulting olive oil is more clean and pure. I'm just going to let it hang like that and let the oil strain itself, drop by drop. So here we go. Our black olive oil is ready. Well, it's not that black, to be honest with you. It's more like dark, 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 dark brown. <laughs> but it totally depends on the power of your blender. The more powerful blender you're using, the more darker, the more intensive colors you can get. And not just with olives, but with other ingredients as well, if you want to dehydrate other fruits, for example, or vegetables, and then uh, follow the same procedure with them. So I would totally recommend it. And if you serve these two bottles to your guests, they would totally be confused. They would think that this is the olive oil and this is a balsamic because they usually serve together. But they will be really impressed to find out that these are both olive oils. You might or might not have watched my previous video on making of the flavored and infused oils. And if you didn't, I highly recommend you to watch it over here. And then you can compare the two methods that I've used in that video and in this video. So the method that I've used in this video is quite beneficial and uh, preferential in a way that um, we do not heat this oil uh, in this case. So we can still call the end product the cold pressed, 
extra virgin olive oil. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you are excited as I am about this method of making flavored and infused oils and this particular black olive oil. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.